Hello, Internet, and welcome to Behind the Meme. Today we have a look at... Hello, darkness, my old friend. Let's jump in my DeLorean and go back to a time where music ruled the world, the 1990s. No, 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 shit. I meant the 1960s. Yeah, that's better. It was the time of hippies, sex, drugs, love, and rock and roll. Ask your grandma, she's not as innocent as you might think she is. It was a decade in which some of the most popular and influential bands made music, and they all looked so cool and like badasses while they did it too. I mean, you had bands like The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, The Doors, Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, Simon and Garfunkel, huh? wait. I was listing groups from the 60s that looked like badasses. How did Simon and Garfunkel get on this list. I mean, they kind of look like a gay couple who live in New York and have a pet cat named Fabian. Or is it just me? But I'm sure they're just friends though, right? Uh, guys, these pictures aren't really helping your case. You know what? There is only one way to know for sure. Google. See there, they weren't gay. Just friends. Really close friends. Wink, wink. In reality, Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel were a singer-songwriter duo whose work together has lasted decades. According to Wikipedia, they actually started working together as early as childhood, even having their first recording contract at the age of 15, which is pretty impressive when you think of it. Simon and Garfunkel had their biggest successes together in the 1960s, starting with the release of their debut studio album, Wednesday Morning 3 AM. And on that album, perhaps the duo's most popular song was initially released, The Sound of Silence, which sounded like this. Get it? The Sound of Silence? That's the song name and silence is quiet, so I didn't play anything because it's The Sound of Silence? Okay, my bad. Dumb joke. It actually sounded like this. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. The song has a mellow yet eerie vibe to it, one that evokes emotion that I can't exactly explain. It makes me feel like I want to eat a bunch of ice cream and Cheetos and then take a bunch of Flintstones vitamins and never wake up again. I mean, until my alarm goes off, of course. What I'm trying to say is the song perfectly sets the emotion for a depressing situation, which is exactly what it has done for a whole new generation that has begun to use the song as the perfect audio to be used within edits and remixes to accompany videos of individuals who are depressed or seem like their souls have been lost and crushed. These edits began to appear online back in 2013 thanks to the show Arrested Development, which perfectly outlined the formula and blueprint and has since then become a popular meme with countless edits being uploaded on the internet. <laughs> Job was surrounded by unconditional love from a family for the first time in his life. There was a renewed interest in the meme in 2016 when a video was uploaded to YouTube by the YouTuber Sabconth, which depicted a sad Ben Affleck being interviewed for his film Superman vs. Batman, which received less than favorable reviews upon its release. The video had received a whopping 22 million views before sadly being taken down. But during its popularity, the video helped the Sound of Silence re-enter music charts 50 years after its initial release. Personally, I lost countless minutes while making this video watching the videos that people have posted. Now I just feel lost, lonely, afraid, cold. Oh, so cold? Where are my vitamins? Hello, darkness, my old friend. So there you have it. What was once a song from the 1960s eventually turned into a memorable meme for a whole new generation to enjoy. But hey, that's the internet for you. And on the internet, memes are king. Thank you all so very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you can catch my next video and stay up to date on all your favorite memes and trends. Much love and appreciation. I'll catch you beautiful people next time. <laughs> Hello darkness, my old friend. Hello darkness, oh.